So what payments do you require? Yeah, good idea, Episcocat. Let's see. Let's see if I can start over, because I don't want to miss what I was saying. Good day. Hello. Now, what do you want from me? See, this is what she says before, but now she changes. I, sh I just want your help to uh, remove someone. It's simple enough. <laughs> Hilarious. Ah, I see, but that's rarely a simple matter. Extinguishing the flame of life is simple, but people rarely wish to face the consequences, and I doubt you're any different. Well, yes, I'd like it carry out in a manner which would draw no suspicion to me. Well, now this is getting interesting. I'd recommend a poisoning. Who do you wish dead? I need to know so that I may tailor a poison to their specific needs. God, this lady is really sinister. Traitorish Hesham, please. Um, he should be easily gotten rid of. So what payment do you require? None. I will extract much pleasure from his passing. Just bring me the ingredients I require. What do you need? Ah, impatience. Traitorish Hesham's time is indeed nigh. Firstly, bring me some snake venom, which will act as the main toxin. Where would I get some snake poison? From a snake, perhaps? Fair enough. What I meant was, how do I extract it from the snake? You, sheesh, you'd never make a chemist. Never mind an alchemist. Just bring me a snake with its teeth and its head. And don't even think about giving me that snake charmer's pet worm. It's about as dangerous as a rubber knife. I have a snake on me, actually. Um, well, then I'm one step ahead of you. I, oh, my gosh. I don't know what's going on here, everybody, but I lucked out. I just caught this snake because I thought I could have the same graphical animation as that dancing snake that the snake charmer has and it, it turns out I can use it for the quest that's called kismet that's called desert kismet you're not as useless as I thought thank you okay I have the snake now what else do you need ah yes the snake will do just fine and nice Agonizing death for Hesham, of course. I'd never kill a fellow vindictive, nasty soul such as Snuggles the Snake here. Snuggles? Ah, uh, yes. Well, is there anything else I can get? Ah, uh, yes. Now I have the toxin. I need something to hide its trace. Fresh camel dung should do the job. Oh, maybe I can use... Oh, my gosh. Did I just randomly get the ingredients that I need for this quest? I was just going around trying to talk to people to... I don't even know where Traitorous Hesham is still. But if I can give a camel the runs with this red hot sauce, maybe then I can get the what I need. That's disgusting. Do you want the poison or not? Okay, I'll get some. And don't forget it has to be fresh. Now, are you going to give me the snake or not? Oops, I almost forgot. You hand the basket with the charmed snake over to the old hag. All right. Okay, so let's go give one of these camels some red hot sauce. Now, I don't know if I actually have to feed it like a kebab or if I can just put it in its trough. We'll see. No, I'm not believing in faith. I'm just, I'm, all I can say is, um, I lucked into it. There is a bucket. Oh, for the dung? Okay. Alright, let's see about this. Let's get the bucket, but... So, do I need to use the red hot sauce on the trough? You pour some hot kebab sauce in the trough. Okay. Let's see if the camel's gonna eat this. Um... Oh, pick up the dung. I got it. Oh, and I could put it in the bucket. It's Ugthonky Dung. She wants it fresh. So let's go talk to her right away. I'm carrying... I'm playing RuneScape, everybody. And I'm carrying around fresh camel or Ugthonky Dung. Just another day in RuneScape. Hi. Hey, Hag, where'd you go? What happened, lady? Hey, 
I got your dung. Oh, there you are. Man, you're hiding back behind your house. What are you doing out there? Nature call? Good day. Good day to you. I have the poison mixed. I just needed the ingredients to prepare another batch. You wouldn't believe the demand. It's been murder. Oh. Um, okay, so two things. Episcacat, the pun right here is so on point. It's been murder, she's saying, referring to how difficult it is to make poison, which is used to murder. That's great. That's a great reference. However, as an English professor, um, this line should read, It's been murder, I-T apostrophe S, been murder. Um, it has been murder. It is a, a contraction, not a possessive. Uh, but that's okay. The joke is, that's not even remotely funny. Wow, look at my deadpan reaction. Goodness gracious. Sorry, I've been dying to say that for ages. God, she's got this evil laugh. She has been waiting. Just stop. Thanks for the po potion and good day to you. I like how I don't even call it poison. It ain't a potion. Now remember, this poison isn't designed to be used on a weapon. In fact, it's not a contact poison at all. You'll have to do more than just smear it on a blade. Okay, and thanks again. You receive a vial of poison from the witch in return for the bucket of fresh camel dung. Alright, so... I have the hag's poison. Now I still need to find traitorous Hesham. So let's poke around, I guess. See where this dude is hiding. Nick Man says, believe it or not, Ookthonky Dung is actually useful to charge a teleport. Oh my god. That is something I have a hard time believing. Hey, Smashed Crab. What is up, my friend? So good to see you. How you been? Just playing some RuneScape. Just sweating it out here in the desert. All right. I'm going to find this guy. I'm going to find Traitorous Hesham. If it's the last thing I do. Is he hiding down the well? All right. No. Or if he is, I don't know about it. All right. Let's go in here. Let's talk to the bartender again and see if he knows. Hello. Can I help you with anything? Traitorous Hesham. He was over here by the table with the two barrels. This one. Okay. He left his drink. The only problem is he's gone. Uh, that's fine. Alright. So let me, like, examine the table. Has a beer upon it, which I will not take for moral reasons. Okay. Oh, awesome. Smashed Crab. Now, Valheim is a game I haven't played yet, but I've heard really good things about. Would you recommend it? Oh, you're right. I can just put poison in his beer. And they gave a reference with the kebab sauce about poisoning the drunk guy's beer. And he was like, that's so cliche. Um... Oh my god, it turned green. You poison the drink. Alright, let me step out. Beer is the only poison you use, Nick Man. It is poison. It's a brain poison. Well, enjoy your seven days off, Smashed Crab. That's awesome, my friend. You'd recommend it, Neo? Be nice to see me play it? I think it's actually pretty cheap, too. Is it like $20 or something? Um... I know, Sir Theodore. I like how I won't take the man's beer, but I'll murder him. <laughs> yeah, Neo. I'm with you. I'd like to try it out. It was so uh, hyped for a moment there. Now I stepped out. Is this guy dead? 
Let's see if we can kill him. Um, hey, Crispy Bacon, what is up, my friend? How you doing? You get your truck yet? Ah, is this like the traitorous Hesham's digs? Yeah, Rosie, I mean, it's okay. I'm not drinking. It's got ale in it. Technically a bed. Useful. Huh. This is somebody's room. They've got like a little bed with a big keg of ale. That's cool. Alright, let's go tell the... First of all, let's check the beer. And then maybe we can go tell the Commandant or whatever that we finished his task. He's gonna be thrilled. Is all that's gonna happen. Examine the table. I know. So, Sir Theodore, I pickpocketed the locals, I broke into the mayor's house and stole something from him, I'm helping a Menophos gang of thugs, and I'm now murdering someone. Just another day. Let me talk to the barman about it, see if he came back and drank it. Hello. Wow, Crispy. Two weeks still? My goodness. You're about to go to Chevy and just buy something off the lot? Well, yeah, Rosie Posey. I mean, the hero in this game is very, very uh, laissez-faire when it comes to morals. God, that's terrible, Crispy. I'm looking for Traitorous Hesham. He is here. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. Now, let's go tell the guy. Let's see if I talk to the guy and it happens. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't, don't fight him. Don't fight him. Sorry about that. I thought you were the guy. I meant to talk to you. Sorry, dude. Um, talk to the leader. Here we go. Talk to the operator. I'm busy. All right. Is the deed done? Almost. His drink's poisoned. As soon as he gets back, he'll be done for. You've proven yourself to be worthy of the boss's presence. He wants to see you now to discuss the future direction of the gang. <laughs> That's about right, Rosie Posey. I like that. I mean... The quests have you doing such a wide swath of things. It's pretty funny. When one of your skills is just thievery, and you have a skill also called Slayer, yeah, you know. So, we get to talk about the future of the Menophos gang. How great is that? Hey, dude. Rashid the Operator told me that you wanted to see me. That's right. I've been keeping track of your progress. It was impressive. It was impressive, not nearly as impressive as your goatee, which seems to extend rigidly from your chin. And you have, ooh, it looks like a little piece of beard jewelry. Love it. So what are your plans for the bandits? The bandits? A mere nuisance, insignificant in my overall plans. So if you're not warring with the bandits, what are you planning for? World domination. <laughs> First, Polovnich, then al Karid, then the whole of Gilinor. Oh yeah, it all starts here. What? You do not understand who we are? Actually, I thought you were a ragtag band of good-for-nothing thieves sucking the life out of this backwater excuse for a town. Oh, nice, Nickman. We'll see what they say. Hey, Aaliyah. Spoiler, this quest takes place in the desert. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm going to let that one slide, Aaliyah. How you doing, my friend? 
the boss's presence. It does have a lot of grammatical errors. That's a good one, Sir Theodore. Sir Theodore just caught another one, um, which is that the bosses, there's only one boss, and it's possessive, not plural. Fight first, talk later, says Smashed Crab. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Um, we don't stop to think so often here. We're heroes. We don't have time for that. It's like, Sir Theodore, for some of this quest... Oh my god, that's a big vulture. They use the... Uh, a lot of my students will do this. They'll Sometimes they'll turn in a paper where they've used, like, text to... Sp or speech to text. Like, they've just dictated their paper. And you get all kinds of mistakes when you do that. That's right, Rosie. It's going to be very strongly worded. They're going to shiver when they crack the wax seal on the back of the letter I send them. Oh, Kuro, what a good reference. Pinky in the Brain from Ren and Stimpy. Taking over the world indeed. It looks like the Menophytes want to do that, but it's like... If they want to take over al that shouldn't be hard. Menaphos is enormous with riches and an army. I don't even think al has more than a handful of soldiers. Menaphos is, like, stacked to the brim. But I, I do want to point out that I think it's a little rude of my character here. I mean, I'm throwing shade at the Menaphite gang by saying they're a ragtag band of good-for-nothing thieves, and then I'm also disrespecting um, Polnivnich by saying it's a backwater excuse for a town. Gosh. I'm going after everybody here. I'm taking no prisoners. Silence. We are the chosen, exiled from Menaphos for trying to overthrow the pharaoh. Oh, you got exiled. Oh, this is... The truth comes out. See... Sir Theodore, the, they aren't associated with Menaphos anymore. They're off on their own, doing their own things. Loyal servants of Amiskut the Devourer, God of Destruction. See, they're ser um, serving Amiskut, and now we understand why. By the way, I don't know why. Every time I see Amiskut, I always think Biscuit, you know, and... That's not appropriate, given the evil and the age behind that god. We are regrouping again to launch another offensive against the thrall of Tumekin, using Polnivnich as a spawning ground for revolution. That's it, I've had it. I'm just going to have to rid the world of you and your mob. I have this irrational hatred for megalomaniacal, despotic, religious zealots. Prepare to meet Itchy Allen Wren or whoever. Oh my goodness. Look at my angry face and I'm just throwing out the insults. This is getting pretty serious and... um, Is Rashid the operator... Oh, he's standing on a hill. I was like, he looks like he's about 200 feet taller than me. Yeah, they're not anymore. They've they've disbanded. Fool, you'll never get to me. Guards, protect me. Um, I can't attack him? Is this guy slapping me? With a blackjack? Get real. Tough guy. You haven't seen the last of me. Oh, we teleported. Oh, we had a Willow Blackjack. No doubt I haven't seen the last of you, but what about Ali's nephew? Maybe the villagers might be able to help. Who knows? They might even reward me from saving them from the Menophytes. Well, can I make a point that at the very, you know, point in this quest, when they were asking me to decide between going with the gang of bandits or the menophytes i didn't like either choice and so now that i've gotten to turn my like and become traitorous hesham uh to the menophytes now maybe i can save this town and feel a little bit better about myself but i should probably go not have traitorous hesham killed 
Maybe the villagers might be able to help. They're not going to reward me. That much is clear, but... Tough guy. He was like, I'll just fight this dude with a blackjack. This should do the trick. Um, Mayor, I did this for you, dude. I don't know what we did to have you imposed on our little town, but I, for one, am sorry. Well, that's some show of gratitude. I would have thought you'd be grateful to me for ridding your town of one of the gangs that's been ruining it. Do you understand the concept of consequence? Do anything and other things will happen as a result? Well, the consequences of your little piece of butchery are that the town is now even worse off. The bandits no longer have to waste time and energy fighting with the Menophytes and can direct all their attention to making us miserable. So for your efforts, I thank you, but I wish no one had asked for your help. God, this guy stinks. So first of all, he's like trying to lecture me about consequence, but... He's the one who hired this gang of bandits to try to fight off the Menophytes that he let in the town in the first place. He's the one who doesn't understand consequence, and I'd like to set that bushy beard on fire. But I guess I'll go fight the bandits. I'll set this town right before I leave, I promise. Why do I wish you hadn't said that? Your heavy-handed tactics scare me. I want to tell you right now, to your face, Mayor, that I broke into your house, I know the password to your safe, and I've taken your valuables. It was me. Alright, let's go fight the bandits. Where's the bandit leader? Is there one? I know, Smashed Crab, what a turkey. I guess he's the mayor. So he's all fancy pants. I'll do it all over again. All right. Take down the bandits. There's one. Is there even a leader? Cowardly bandit. Hello. Welcome. Our leader will be pleased to congratulate you on your disposal of the Menophytes. Okay, here's the leader who plagued this town. Great. Um, Where is the leader? All right, examine him. Probably the weakest bandit in the world ever. Uh, okay, funny. All right, let me look around for this so-called leader. Oh God, that death sequence was pretty unbelievable. He cried out and fell over. All right. Oh, wait. There's somebody in here. Maybe it's this dude. Ah, these are just regular bandits. Come on, now. Maybe in the building? I'm, that's a good idea, Rosie. Let me look in here. Are you guys... Hello? How's it going? I'm here. Let me climb up the steps. We got a bandit leader anywhere? Wow, these are nice digs. Open the cupboard. Are you in here, bandit leader? You hiding? Search it. Search it. Examine it. This may be worth searching. I did. There was nothing. Examine the bed. Alright, fine. Um, talk to the villager. Hello. Good job. You just made everything worse for us poor villagers. God. I just single-handedly took apart one of the gangs, which was subjugating your village. You adventurers, you never think. You just act. Well, this is kind of what we were talking about, Smash Crab. Um, you think that by killing a powerful bad person, Gilnor will become a better place. It's not that simple. Things never are. A vacuum is created. Power is available to the person best situated to take it. Who do you think is in the best position to take power? Our good mayor or the leader of the bandits? Uh, oops, sorry. I was just trying to help. So are things really that much worse? Yes. Before your intervention, the two gangs pretty much canceled each other out. That isn't what the mayor said, though. 
everyone is just seems to forget that when I came here, the mayor said that everyone was either getting mugged um, or looted and that things were miserable in the town. Now that balance is lost. The bandits reign unopposed. They no longer have to deal with the menophytes and inflict nothing but more misery on us. You must finish the job that you've started. You know, this adventuring lark is a lot more complicated than I thought. If you're prepared to change something, you must also be prepared to deal with the consequences. Now hurry up and fix this mess you've created. <laughs>